now and again I come across a film stock that I haven't heard much about or seen any examples of. Earlier in the year I watched a video about Fujifilm Industrial, a 100 ISO film that until recently has only been available in Japan. So I got a couple rolls and I thought I would try out myself. These rolls were shot over two days on the Leica M6 with the Voigtlander 35mm Nocton Classic F1.4. I also met with my friend Jordan on one of the days and shot a few portraits as we were walking around. So after these images I'll show you how I edited them and also give you my initial review. To give this film a proper review, I think I'd have to shoot it in some different settings to fully understand its capabilities, but from the first use I'm really impressed. The overall colour has some really nice unique qualities, however the major issue for me was how the film renders the colour red. The saturation of the red tone at times was a bit too much and even in some images had some magenta which I usually take out of my images completely. It's nothing that I couldn't change through editing. But here are some of the before and afters and you can kind of see what I mean. So I scan with an Epson V550, I edit in Lightroom with Negative Lab Pro, just so you can kind of get an idea of my workflow, um, but some of the issues I had could be with how I scanned and edited them. So you can see here on the left is the before and on the right is the after. The reds are just highly saturated, the whole image seems to have a bit of a, a red magenta tone to it. So then to get this look, I brought the brightness down contrast up, I brought the highlights down, the shadows up, and then just added a bit of green to get rid of some of that magenta and also some yellow to the mids uh, to add some warmth back in. And then in the shadows just tried to move away from some of this red and just added a bit of cyan to it. So this is one of the portraits of Jordan. I thought I'd show you just so you can see what the skin tones looked like before it was edited and after. So you can kind of see, he just looks a bit washed out, his skin looks a bit 
pale in comparison. So similar with the other images, I just brought everything down, uh, brightness down a little bit, contrast up, highlights down, shadows up, and just added a bit of green and warmth to it to kind of bring back some of the color in his skin. And then this one's probably the most dramatic change because the red tones are so strong. When we shot next to these red lights, it just completely blew out all of the other colors in the image. So you can kind of zoom in on his face and just see that it's there's just no detail there. The red has completely washed everything out. So I didn't think I'd be able to get much back from it. So after some editing, I managed to pull some of it back and it's still, still a bit messy here. There isn't really much detail, but it's much better than this. So it's just more of a dramatic look. It's higher contrast. There's a, there's a bit more detail to it. So I kind of prefer this look. Maybe there's a middle ground somewhere between there, maybe less green. And I also lost this flare, which I weirdly kind of like, but um, maybe with a bit more editing, I could try and get that back. And overall, once the film is edited a bit more, I'm quite happy with the, the images, but there is just some inconsistencies and things that I'm not really a huge fan of. But if you're willing to spend the time editing, then I think you can get the look that you want. As for the usage, I think it would make a great landscape film. Uh, the way it shows the reds, the oranges and the greens, the saturation with them. Um, and especially with autumn coming up, it might be like the perfect time to go out and about shooting with it. Because of the low ISO and the reddish skin tones, I'm not sure if it makes a great street photography film. Maybe it just takes some time and you just have to mess around to get the look that you want. Overall, I think I would shoot this film again. Um, I don't know why or when, um, but maybe you prefer the colour to portrait or ektar. Um, and even if you don't, I think it's important to try different films to, so you can narrow down what you like and what you prefer and what you want out of a film. So if you're interested in trying this film, there is a link below so you can buy some and try it yourself. Uh, but for now, that is it for me. Take care and I'll see you soon.